This folder now contains uh, this folder contains a lot of files. These files, each file has its own, uh, you know, uh, purpose. The first one, this forum HTML file. This is the file that uh, that looks like this, which it has this, uh, you know, uh, three items: the topic, the name, the message, and uh, it has these. Uh, three buttons. This button is to pause the message as I said. Uh, once you click in the message, uh, once you click in this button, the these three uh, information of data, uh, they will go to the database table that should be created before that and uh, will go to the text file that is empty, which is uh, look like this. It's an empty right now, but once we start sending messages, this file will be populated with some information so now you know the purpose of these two files forum and message uh, well uh, this uh, this um, uh, clear entries it is just uh, a button that created to kind of you click here you'd like to change your mind about a specific thing you'd like to clear entries and you have done that before when you were uh, creating uh, HTML forms like in the first four weeks uh, or the first three weeks. So let us just uh, talk about this. Get data from database. Get data from database. This is a PHP file. This one talks or linked to uh, a PHP file that will extract data from the database. Uh, once you start entering these messages in the database, then you can click here to get this information from database. All right, let me just show you uh, a, a quick, you know, uh, let us have a quick glance to the to the post uh, new message uh, form, which uh, basically uh, let me open this one in uh, in Notepad plus plus to uh, just remind you. But this is not something that is new uh, for you. It is something that you have done before, which is, this is uh, here, it's a uh, form. The form, it has topic, which is input uh, text uh, box, and uh, its name is topic. This is very important. Now, uh, when we're creating these forms before, uh, at the time when we're creating it in HTML section, this name is not important was not important but now it is important why because we're going to use these names in our php file so that we can actually have the same field in the database table that we're going to create uh, the second uh, item or element in my uh, form is the name which is also an input text box again the name is uh, important if you'd like to call this topic and this name so make sure that you, uh, you have these names later in the PHP file. The size of the, of the box, you can find that here. The, the topic is 50 and uh, 50 uh, you know, uh, pixels and the size for the name is 30 pixels. But look at the message. The message is actually a text area. A text area, which is like a comment. You know, I created like a comment if you remember that. Uh, with this name message uh, the columns are 76 76 columns that means you know we can write 70, 76 uh, characters here from here from a uh, uh, from here until you go you know to the end of this uh, box you can write 76 but here um, I said um, eight rows. Eight rows means the number of lines here, like this is one, and then th these are visible. Of course, if you go down, it will it will expand. Like in this is like A, B, C, D, uh, E, uh, F, uh, G, and H. These are four columns. But of course, you can go down. The more you go down, the more it will create this uh, scroll uh, bar. Uh, you, you, but you don't see them all of them. You see only eight at a time. Because here you have like uh, the column 76, but the rows is eight. You can have it more if you like, you know. 
but this is a text area uh, that uh, that looks uh, like this. This is text area. Okay. In the in this form also we have uh, two buttons as we have used them before. These two buttons are submit, uh, which is uh, the value for it is called post message. You know, in the form itself, when you look in the form, you will see that here it says post message. So this is a value. And for reset is clear entries here for reset. Reset clear entries. Okay, this is what it actually clears the entries in case you would like to change something uh, or replace it. But the most important thing that I would like to draw your attention to is uh, this submit button. When you click submit button, it actually uh, linked to the action here in the form uh, attributes. In the form attribute, you'll see form action. What is the action? Action means execute post message.php. And the method is post. Okay. This is the most important part because once you click once you click submit button, which is post message here, this, this button here, right here, what happens is that this uh, click that you're going to make is going to execute the post message.php file. What post message.php file do? What does it do? This file is existing here, as you could see, post message. This is a PHP file. We're going to talk about it in a minute. It will do this, uh, you know, task that I have uh, already, you know, uh, talked about, which is post data enter through the form into the database table and the text file. This is the most important file for us today to discuss because this is a file that will send the information from your form to your database table and then at the same time it will send it to the empty text file and then keep update every time you post new message it will update this text file with new information if you'd like to view the data from the text file and from the database here I have this uh, this button this button is actually to get the data from database but uh, in, in another uh, you know, page that will come up if I click in post message, you will see post message which execute this file here, this file, post uh, message. As we open it, it has also some buttons that it has, uh, it has some buttons that, that you will see some, uh, you know, links for forum information, which is uh, denoted by this uh, PHP file and also view discussion which is to extract data from the text file basically the forum info it will get information from the database while uh, you know this uh, view, uh, view discussion will get the information from the text file because here if you look at this, the last button it says uh, forum info.php that means this button which it says get data from database this one, get data from database, which is this one. This one here, get data from database. It's a button, right? It's a button. So it's called here button, look. I'm okay, it as a button. But what does it uh, do? Which file the, has it been linked to? It was linked to this forum info.php, uh, which is this one, forum info.php. All right? So now most of our discussion is going to be in uh, these three files, forum info, uh, post message, and view discussion. We're going to talk about them one by one. But uh, before that, I said you have to create the database and to create the table. So before we come to these uh, three files, forum info, and post message, and view discussion, uh, let me just remind you uh, these uh, two files that we have done them many times before, which is create database and create table. Let me just open this one. This is a small file to create a database. So what database I would like to create? I would like to create a database called forum, F-O-R-U-M. 
I started my file same like I did before in this PHP file to connect to the database using localhost and root. Uh, this is the uh, you know checking uh, 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 statement to check if uh, if the connection is correct. Then we assign this name to DB name, and then. Uh, uh, if the database uh, exists using MySQL, I select DB uh, with two these two parameters, which is DB connect and uh, DB name, such that DB connect is the connection string here, and the DB name is the database name. If this is true, then tell me that the database already exists. So if this one tends to be true, if this is statement true, then the database already exists. Otherwise, otherwise, if it doesn't exist, then create it using this da uh, statement, which is create database with this name, which is forum, and then execute it. Execute that uh, you know SQL statement using my SQL query. Also, with these two parameters, always the first parameter is going to be the connection string, and the second uh, parameter is going to call the SQL statement uh, variable that has been assigned to this statement. Or die means give me an error message. Uh, you know, tell me that there is uh, a problem or something like that. Using these two functions, as we have discussed them before, my SQL I error number and my SQL I error, which is displaying the SQL message, my SQL message about why you are not going to connect or what the problem was. And then, uh, if this, these two lines are executed successfully, then tell me that uh, successfully created the database. So let me try that statement right here uh, using localhost. Uh, of course, I have to use localhost here. Uh, localhost. Uh, But don't for don't for don't forget that this uh, create db create db is not under create db php is not immediately under localhost. It is in a folder called forum because here this folder look it have ht docs and then there is a folder called forum. So you have to go to this folder inside ht docs by uh, typing uh, this. Uh, localhost slash and then forum slash all right this uh, URL this URL here yeah. let me just put it here in my uh, text file for you to look at it it is localhost slash forum slash create db.php this one will create uh, this database called forum because now as I look to the database there is uh, as I look to this uh, you know uh, my database let me show show this database if it is there yeah it is not there look this my database is this hmm? forum is not here there is no forum here but I would like now to execute it I would like to execute it using this uh, you know URL so press enter okay yeah it says what successfully created the database forum if you'd like to check again refresh refresh this one all right here yeah. it's created databases here forum it is created it wasn't here before so now it is created but it is empty you can see that these databases has each one uh, or most of them has uh, has uh, tables this one has one table one table one table 28 tables one table one table 23 tables eight tables but this forum has no table when when there is no parentheses and any number inside that means it's empty you can check that by clicking on this uh, database and you see the database has zero tables, no table in it at all. 
But I would like to execute the second, uh, you know, the second uh, PHP file, this one, create t table. To create a table in that forum uh, database. Let me show you this uh, line. This line, uh, this uh, code, this file is to select this database forum and check to see if the table, I would like to call this table discussion, okay? Discussion, discussion with this name. I would like to see if it is already exists. So I'm gonna use select all forum uh, DB table, which is the table uh, I created here through this uh, variable, PHP variable. So if this uh, result is true, that means if the statement is, is executed successfully, then the table already exists. Otherwise, create the table. Let me show you this table, um, you know, uh, the table fields or columns. Let me just put them all in one in one um, line so that you can see it is just an SQL statement we have done similar to it many times so here is uh, my table it has three columns as I told you these three columns uh, topic name and message please note that I have to use this create table uh, statement, create table discussion. Topic is bar char 40. You can make it 30 or any 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 number that is equivalent to equivalent to the size that you have in the, in the form or more than that is not a problem at all. So I used to have like this one is uh, you know uh, 20 or something, but here 30. No problem with that at all. But the most important here. Because the message is the message is uh, which is this here. Where is my uh, this one? Is actually my take many characters and many statements. You might write a lot. So it is better to have uh, to have two uh, to have like maybe 300, 400, 500, whatever many characters because this is going to be. Um, if you don't include uh, a lot of uh, characters as a size, then in the database, if you even if you um, if you fill this form with like maybe let us assume that you filled it with uh, with a message that is more than 500, okay, 500 characters. Uh, what is going to happen? What's going to happen if you click post message? Only uh, 500 characters will will go to that database table uh, in the column which is message so it is better to have it a uh, big one it is going to be there so if you are not using it if you are not using the whole 500 is okay but the problem if you leave it small then it might have some issues not uh, you know uh, keeping all the message that you have written in that uh, in that message box this is the the known uh, statement that actually ex this is to execute. Of course, always I say that my SQL query is to execute this uh, previous uh, you know SQL statement, which is create a table discussion. The rest of it is just uh, you know uh, error uh, uh, error message in case the table has not been created successfully, something like that. This is to successfully create the table called uh, discussion using the this uh, variable here. This variable is discussion. So now, as I told you, this database is empty. But if I would like to create it, then I can actually go here and create that um, table using the PHP file that I was dis discussing with you. TBL create tbl.php so here it says successfully created the table all right of course if you uh, try to uh, run again it will um, it will execute this statement where is it this one they will already exist why because it will try to select all from the from the table 
and if it find that there is a table called discussion then it will give you this one and this is what is going to happen right now uh, if I click here refresh again you see table discussion already exists and this is also will happen to um, my uh, uh, to the create uh, DB also if you'd like to create a uh, DB again it will now previously says successfully create the database but if I refresh and try to execute again it will tell me that same like uh, like this one it will tell me that database forum already exists as we have already executed them I'd like to check that uh, here you can just uh, refresh and then you will see that um, this one discussion has been created with information that uh, you know uh, that was shown in the in the in the table so here this is a structure of the table it looks like this topic um, with bar char 40 name bar char 30 message is bar char 500 exactly like what I have done here in this example all right so uh, now we were able to create the uh, our our uh, data uh, what is going to happen if I click here to insert information the information class should go to that uh, table with this uh, specification right if I click in the post message but I'm not going to actually do this until I explain uh, this uh, post message.php because this is the most important file today to discuss that as I said will uh, send the information to this table I have just created and also to the text file which was empty I have shown you that earlier all right all right so uh, one more student joined that's okay uh, so now uh, going back to my uh, folder to see what uh, uh, files I have uh, explained to you uh, earlier I have explained to you this forum right which is uh, is just uh, HTML file uh, that creates this uh, form uh, the new thing on it is when you execute the submit button it execute this is the most important part of this file it execute the action this action is means the post message.php which am I, uh, I am going to talk about right now post message what does it do this is what we're going to explain right now here post message this one all right all right i'm going to explain this uh, i have divided this into sections so that you can actually understand it um, properly uh, first uh, i put it in in an html i put this code the uh, the php code inside the html why because I would like to link it to, uh, you know, to this um, uh, style file, which is PHP styles.css. This file, we're gonna actually talk about it um, later. The style, which is just to actually change the way, the look and feel of your uh, data that has been displayed from your uh, uh, from database or from uh, your text file. So this is the this is the link for that uh, file called php underscore standard csa. All right, let us come here to this part. This part <coughs> is actually uh, to create three variables. These variables uh, to hold uh, the data for the three uh, fields. I called them. Uh, topic name and message uh, please note that I use capital T capital N capital M here because I would like to differentiate between the variables and the fields the fields which is the columns in the database <coughs> so the variable topic with capital T <coughs> is actually connected to the topic uh, column in the database let me go to the database and show you here this one see <clears throat> and the same for the name which is uh, connected to this uh, variable
Uh, okay, here I said these three variables, topic name and message, they are connected to the, to the three um, columns, topic name and message, as we have seen in the, in the table discussion, these three. Uh, okay, now this part is about the text file. I'm going to use here, I'm not going to use the field name. I'm going to use actually the variables every time. So these variables now are connected to the database here. Post underscore post uh, is a built-in variable for, for PHP. Underscore post in capital. Dollar underscore post. Usually, if you like to connect to the database uh, column, you have to use this built-in variable. And between brackets, between quotations, between brackets and between the quotation, uh, you have to write that name of the field or the column from that table. Okay, so but these variables are now that now we know that these variables here on the left they are uh, binding to or connected to or linked to these uh, columns in the database uh, table discussion. Right, so here in the text file. This text file, so I would like to create, uh, I already have uh, this file called messages. It is now empty, as I have shown you many times. It has nothing in it. But this file here, or this code, uh, it must populate it with the information uh, that is uh, holding the data for topic name and message. So I use a variable, I call the variable post message. And these are functions, like add slashes. Add slashes uh, is to add slashes or add like uh, add this bar between the three information topic, name, and message. What does that mean? It means if I have here, let me just open the, the file again. This one here, for example, topic is assignment two, uh, assignment two, okay, and then add this. For example, name is Ma'amun Zain, okay, uh, which is the name, the second one. And then add this bar. And, uh, and then this is the message. For example, assignment uh, to will be posted, whatever, 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 like do this. First, they have 500 characters to write here, no problem with that. All right, so this one here, this line, is going to be these bars to separate the topic, the name, and the message, right? In the file, so you have to create that uh, to create this one uh, by uh, opening that file. So use another variable. I call this variable message store. It is just a name of a variable. You can actually uh, call it any name. But the most important here is to use uh, the f open file open. Uh, it's a PHP uh, you know function that opens a specific uh, text file or data file. But here I have to use two arguments. The first argument is uh, the fa the file name. So if it is uh, a text file, you have to write .txt extension. If it is a data file, you have to write .dta. If it is a web file, you have to write to write .doc. If it is Excel file, you have to write EXLS, something like that. So this is a file, it's a text file. You see, it's a text file. Yeah, text file. So uh, that's why I have to open the file with its extension. The second argument is A, which is always uh, has to be kept like that because A, uh, it, 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 it stands for append. You can open and append means add or update this file with the new information every time. Uh, so this uh, to open the file and ability to append or to add to it. Um, then write to the file, store the message or store the information by using uh, f write. f write means file write. File write it is a PHP function that uh, you know has two. Uh, parameters. The first uh, parameters is uh, 
this you know uh, slashes that you are going to add uh, between the the I mean the the data and the slashes. This one, this is this information here, because this is to, this is the topic, the name, and the message is going to be here uh, stored here by this post message. So post message now it is used as the second argument for this file write and uh, message store which is the first argument that uh, that hold the file which is uh, messages.txt that has been opened by f write function if close is to close to close it it is optional but it is it is optional but it is uh, it is recommended to close the file after you write to it uh, because sometimes uh, you leave the files open vulnerable for a lot of things you know sometimes if they are open and then you would like to later uh, use you know this PHP file to uh, to open it again through that uh, button then it might create some error message which is the file uh, it is not going to be appended while it is open so it has to be closed uh, to be appended with some data. So if closed, it is recommended to be used here. But the most important thing here I have from this text file is to use the echo statement to uh, write to the, to, the, to the information on the browser. So these also are optional. I can remove them. But I would like to see them how they are written in the browser. So this echo will display topic in a strong font and a name in a strong font and message in a strong font. Strong here means bold. Yeah. Uh, I was just writing here strong, strong to make it bold. Make topic, name and message bold so that it displays what? It displays these three items uh, after I actually click uh, post message immediately. Not only does it submit the information to the text file and to the database but also it will display them on the browser i will show you this one in a minute how this is done of course i can remove this no problem with that at all still it will send the information to the text file this text file but the reason why i'm keeping this uh, three echo in a paragraph every paragraph is to uh, every time uh, that I send the information to the text file, I will see this information displayed on the browser at the same in the, on the same screen where I, I am sending the the message using this post uh, post message.php file. All this is regarding the text file. Uh, however, the text file itself is optional in most cases because if you don't want to keep a backup, if you don't want to keep a backup. For your data you don't have to create this code you can just stress save it in the database but as i told you in the beginning of this lecture that it is so important that you have a copy of your data in a text file or a data file or any other alternative as a backup why because sometimes this information in the database are destroyed are removed are deleted by mistake or uh, sometimes because of a server uh, problem, database server problem. So you need to have a copy of this data. <coughs> we, will, we will show you in a minute when I uh, populate the database with some data, then I will delete that data, then you will see that the data is still uh, available in my text file. That is the importance of keeping this uh, file here to keep the information for you, uh, to keep the information here for you in case your database has been deleted for any reason. Let me continue on my file. This file is, uh, this information is not new for you. We have done it in the previous lecture, which is simply to open the database using this connection string. And uh, this is an error, if it is an error, if it is not executing. And to open the database. Here, the database is called Fora, right? using this my SQL select db usually has a connection string and 
the the database name i could have done this uh, also differently i could have created a variable call it uh, you know uh, forum uh, db for example uh, forum db equal uh, double quotation forum like that and then here use this one variable without the quotation like that no problem I could use that always I have done it many times and you have done it many times but here also uh, I would like to show you that you can actually instead of using this variable it is just um, straight you can use a second uh, you know uh, second argument here and use the name of the database which is forum like that put in quotations put it so it is either use a variable that you create to hold the name of the database or use the database name uh, straight which is forum all right but the first one is always my what my connection string which appears in many places it appears here in uh, the SQL query to be executed and it, it is appearing here in the error uh, number and the error message and the close uh, message. It has connection string always because that is what actually keeps the database, uh, you know, uh, it's called uh, validation. It is a, a valid database and this is the database that I'm connecting to. That's why we use it many times here. Uh, but the line, this is line is important, which is uh, you create a variable, call it whatever name, I called it SQL string, to hold the insert statement. Insert into discussion, what is discussion? Discussion is my table, right? The table name. Insert into it values, what values? The topic, the name, and the message. I put quotation around it because they are all var chars. They are not, you know, integers. But these actually topic name and messages are the variables that I've created here, uh, you know, to point to these three fields in the database, topic name and, and message. So um, this line will help me insert uh, the information in my, uh, in my, um, it's called, uh, uh, my HTML form is based on these names that I have already covered earlier, which is topic, name, and message. These three names are important, topic, name, and message. So, because now what you are doing is that topic, name, and message that you will see here in this, uh, in this form, topic, name, and message are going to be replaced in my uh, database uh, uh, php i mean files with these variables that i have created which is topic name and message the last uh, uh, the last message the last line because here is just giving you the uh, the message that the role is set is successful in the database of course if there is an error this one is capable of displaying the error if there is no error it will give you that row uh, has been uh, inserted successfully in the database all right or uh, maybe topic has been inserted successfully in the database all right now these are the last two buttons in this uh, in this file you will see them early uh, later when we actually execute this file in uh, in my browser <coughs> this is to allow me instead of clicking back to go back to the form this will allow me to post another message and it will reopen the forum dot html it will reopen that uh, html form for me so I can post new messages the last one forum info dot php this will view discussion will view discussion or view forum 
view topics or view discussion a bit like that okay, so but it will the most important thing here it actually linked to the forum info the file that I have not talked about yet this uh, forum info all right forum info um, dot PHP this one is is the file that gets the, the information from the database uh, let me before I talk about this uh, file uh, try try this try this file and see how it works I will show you these two buttons or two links they are links they are not buttons they are links we can create them as buttons if we like but here they are just uh, href links uh, but I would like to execute this post message.php file and to show you how this information will go to the to the file and we'll go to the uh, let me remove this completely from from here oh no I don't want to remove it it is already created so uh, I have created this discussion but now it is empty right it is empty I've created it using two I executed two files the first file is to create the database called forum the second file executed uh, is to create the discussion uh, table like this so we have done these two files from my my folder from this uh, these two files create a database and create table okay now I would like to execute this uh, HTML form from my browser from my server not from here of course I cannot just uh, you know uh, enter the information right here like that you understand what I'm saying I cannot do this because if I do this you know what's gonna happen this one is actually in the C drive exam ht docs forum forum html so does it go to the server no if i click here it will just uh, open my file the file that i was just talking about earlier you know it will give me the code in the file so i don't actually execute this from here i execute it from where I execute it from the local host right we go local host slash forum slash forum dot php here right see it is even bigger in this screen now this is uh, my form that has been executed from the server I would like to try it to do what try to do what to be able to send the information to this file text file messages.txt and at the same time insert the information into my table as I discussed earlier I would like to do these two things. So let me start. Uh, let me uh, do assignment two and write my name here. And let me just write here uh, assignment two will be posted this week. It will be the same as the uh, topic we are showing today. All right. So this is uh, the topic I would like to post, right? Once I click post here, once I click post, of, co of course, if I click clear entities, it will clear everything. But if I would like to click post, um, Uh, if I click post, what's going to happen? Again, it's going to append, open this file, append it with the information I have entered in my uh, file. And then also these three things. It will show this topic, name, and message on the browser, immediately on the browser, okay? Which will show in the browser so that, um, you know, 
uh, uh, for you just to, to know what you have entered. And at the same time, it will insert this one into the database table. Right? So let us do that. Post message. Here it is. There is it says topic assignment to name Mamun Zain message assignment to will be posted this week. It will be the same as the topic we are showing today. All right. What is these three? These three are posted or displayed by these three echoes here. All right. Even I said this is strong. You see strong. Strong means what? Strong means bold. And you see topic name and message bold. You understand what I'm saying, guys? These are the uh, optional. I said this is optional. These three are uh, optional, but it's good to have them to show what you have entered. To see what you have entered. But it is, uh, they are optional. Only this one, only these three lines or four lines are capable of inserting the information in the text file. What is the text file? The text file that you have seen earlier, which is, was empty before. This one. But now it shouldn't be empty, right guys? It should have this information. Look. Assignment 2. This is my name, and this assignment to this is the same message that I have written. And uh, you see these uh, separators, these separators are the same separators that I have here, them in this add slash this function, right? So the information are here. So, does the information go to the database? I hope so, because here I have the insert statement uh, to insert this information to the database. The file was empty, this table was empty before, but now let me sh see if I have information inserted here it is now I can see the information inserted in my database assignment to my name and uh, you know this uh, uh, message here that has been posted in the database yeah. all, right. all right now if you would like to uh, post you, this file, look at the file. What is the file name? Postmessage.php. This is the file I'm talking about. Postmessage.php, right? Look, this is the file. But at the end of this file, there is two links. The first one here, in line number 43, it says forum.html, and its value is post another message. Post another message, which is this one. Post another message. This link here. And the second one is forum.info.php. So I'm not going to uh, execute, click here right now uh, because I would like to talk about this file, how this information uh, are displayed in the, uh, in the browser. But I would like to post a new message. I would like to click in forum.html here to post a new message. All right, so let me do that again. Post another message. This one, I'm gonna talk about the final exam. I'm going to put my name again. I'm going to say something. The final exam will be in Canvas. All right. So here it is. Post post so this information that I have just posted same like before and the row is set successfully in the database of course if I would like to see that I can always go to my database and refresh my uh, table and you will see here final exam the final exam or whatever whatever this is the topic the name and the message here and and so on so every time every time you know uh, every time you will, uh, every time you will, you will post a new message. This message will go to, uh, will go to the, to this file, which is uh, messages file. Now it has another line, which is final exam uh, topic with my name again and the message that I have entered. So every time you do that, every time you click a new. Uh, you, you click to enter a new message, post a new message. This will insert the information in the database and in the text file, right? Right? Okay. 
now it's time to talk about you know the forum info how this the information are extracted from the database for now we have did we have covered the create uh, DB file that create the database create table which create the table in that database the forum HTML uh, form which we have uh, you know discussed and explained that it contains only three information uh, text uh, input text and two buttons three input text and two buttons and you already know how to create this one and we already covered the messages which was the uh, empty file but now it's not empty because we were able to up update it uh, or uh, you know append it with the new information this uh, style uh, is actually um, a CSS style that actually has some you know uh, some information about how you can actually change the color of H1, H2, H3 if it is there and also the table data I will show you this in my uh, forum info uh, table that they will have we have TD so because we're gonna actually uh, display this information in a table so the table has uh, has TD it has a table element it has a table head element and table head uh, element and then table body element and uh, this information is just to show these uh, elements in in colors uh, background colors font size text alignment borders stuff like that so this is just uh, an example for CSS file <coughs> that uh, you know change some information from uh, from, from information in uh, the forum info uh, uh, file this uh, this one okay what is the forum info file I told you that here if I click in uh, view there's two links here by the way post view uh, post another message we have done it twice and then view discussion okay if I view discussion this view discussion will open uh, this file view discussion which is actually extracting the data from the text file let me open it now and show you this mm -hmm. so this one is actually going to display in my browser uh, the information in like a table like table because it's going to first link my uh, file to this uh, PHP style the CSS as I mentioned before that is a style file that changed uh, backgrounds uh, change the font colors the size so every information that you need is going to be in that file okay this is h1 which is a big uh, title for this uh, you know uh, display uh, information then I have a table this table it has 50% width of the 50% uh, width of the screen all right and then uh, it has uh, you know uh, some columns are spanned uh, with width 5% and the alignment of this is center you put information in the center and also for the for the column group you have to align uh, make the width is 70% you will see this one actually see the information in the browser but this is uh, a PHP code if the file exists if this message is the txt exists like I knew the function a PHP function called file exists, uh, file exists, but I can use a logical expression here, not. If not file exists, that means if the file does not exist, if not file exists means if the file does not exist, if there is no file called messages.txt, or the size of the file is zero, there is, the file is empty, yani if file size, also there is a function called file size, which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, this file messages.txt if the size is equal equal zero that means there is no size at all then tell me that there are no file or no messages saved in the file 
So let me show you this here. Let me delete uh, the information from the file and save it. I'm going to delete the information, save it. So now the file, just to show you that the file is empty. The file is empty. Or I can change the name of the file so that the file messages.txt is not there. So if a if statement simply says, if the file does not exist, if this file, messages.txt, does not exist, or it has zero size, that means it is empty, then tell me that there are, uh, there, are there is no file called uh, messages, or the file is, is, is empty. Now, if I execute this, it will definitely tell me that there is no, uh, will tell me this message there are no file or no messages saved in the text file because I deleted the information in the file so this one is now true file size is true file size is zero I will show you this in uh, in a minute but now before I test it I would like to show you that uh, there is uh, what else what if the file is existing because this is if not if the file does not exist yeah, and what if this condition is false? If this condition is false, that the file is existing there, all right? And it has zeros. It has sorry, it has uh, messages inside it. It, has, it doesn't have zeros. So the else part will be executed. The else message, the else, uh, you know, uh, statement. Uh, I create a, a variable called message array to open the file. Uh, equal to the file itself, which is message.txt. I can use uh, the uh, you know, function file, which now hold the file content. But there is a for loop here, using uh, you know the using the for loop for i is a counter here. for i equals zero from the first row until i less than count count what count of this file uh, messages lines. Uh, so I put a message array as an argument for the function called count, which count the number of lines in that file. And from zero, from the zero, because it's an array, it's going to actually treat it as an array, which is start from zero, to the length of the array. But the length of the array here, we'll use a function called count. Uh, and we use uh, as an argument for that one, we use the variable that we created to hold the content of the file, which is message array, incrementing this very counter by one. And uh, for this uh, information, I'm going to write uh, this information separated with this bar here using the explode function. Also, explode function is a function that uses the, uh, the variable that has been uh, declared for to hold uh, the array. Uh, using the counter, uh, which is uh, the counter name i here, dollar uh, i between two brackets, uh, and append always append this uh, bar or the you know this this symbol here between between the messages. But the information are displayed with uh, with a strong text. Uh, we use here uh, i plus one because. You know, we start from the the, the uh, from the first uh, row, uh, and then uh, every time we have the information displayed inside the table as this is the table, by the way, equal tr, and here is only one row. Look, tr tr, only one row, and this row here it has a lot of uh, it has actually three different table data, which is this one td. Uh, close here, TD, close here, at the, then, and then this TD is closed right, right here. So this one is uh, topic, name, and message. Topic will be displayed uh, in blue. Name is be displayed also in blue. Here I use the style equal color blue. So all of them are blue. I feel like I can use this one earlier in my PHP file, but I uh, I just uh, appended this information later to have message displayed in blue, name in blue, strong text blue. This one, strong text blue, uh, and this one, strong text blue. 
uh, strip slashes usually is a function that populate the array with the values uh, starting from 0, 1, 2, if they are 3. If they are more, it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, according to the number of elements that are displayed. But here I have only three uh, information, which is the topic, the name, and the message. So I start from array element 0, and then array element 1, and then 2, to display the information in like a tabular format. So this tabular format look like this. So here, if I go back and click view discussion, it will display it in this uh, tabular format. So the table has topic, name, and message, as I said, uh, bold, strong, bold, and center, and uh, here, blue, and also this, uh, this information actually uh, this this file here let me show you this file in fact execute the forum info dot php um, forum info dot php uh, so uh, view discussion it will execute forum info dot php forum info dot php which is the forum info dot php uh, is displaying the information in this format. Let us remember this format, which is the background is light yellow for the data and cyan for this one. But the information I was talking about earlier, which is here in this file, which is going to be, um, you know, topic and name and message in blue and uh, strong. This is actually the file that gets information from the uh, messages.txt file. But now, there is no file or no message in the file. Why? Remember, guys, earlier, I have, uh, I have deleted the information in the file. The file is empty. Remember? I have just deleted. I opened this file, messages, I deleted the information. So now, if I'd like to test it, I have to insert new information uh, into my, uh, uh, my, my text file. So let me go back and uh, insert new information in the text file. Again, let me just write um, two information. Assignment to MZ. Uh, assignment to this week. And then post. And then again, one more. Final exams, and then again one more here. Final exams, week 16, 17. Okay, post. Okay, now uh, if I, I click view discussion, as I told you, this view discussion will get the information from the database. You can see that even the old information are there because they are still in the database. But this one, then to them, it's added this one. Uh, the new information that I have just added. But the file I was talking about earlier, guys, here, this one, is the, uh, is the file that uh, ex execute or get the information from, from, from this file, from messages.txt, which is now has only two information, right? It has only two information. Look, get data from the messages.txt file. Now it will, it will not tell me the file is empty because the file is not empty. Look, the file has uh, these two information that I have just written, these two information. So if I click here, get data from messages, it will get me these messages in this format. As I told you that it will display them in like a counter, like every time I have new information. It's going to actually populate this one with one, two. This is why actually I actually guys displayed here uh, in the first echo uh, dollar i plus plus one. Why plus one? Because I I want this information to be uh, to be shown like this one instead of zero. So give me one. Yani if I don't add one to that counter, it will give me zero. 
right? Uh, but now if I added one here, it will give me one. So this is the first topic. Now blue, bold, because it is strong. Let me compare this file to this. All right. First, you see that um, the information are uh, are here displayed in uh, by using you know the the PHP style dot CSS. Here, yeah, this file has a lot of information. It will make this background gray. You know, I, I don't want to go to this file, but if you go to the file right now, you will see that the background is gray. And also, you will see that discussion here is uh, uh, is big. Why is big? Because here it is H1. And you see H1 is dark blue, dark blue, uh, like this one. You know, just a quick glance of this file. Where is it? Uh, it's not open here, it is here, H1, background white, yes, for H1, background is white, color 039, which is actually dark blue, and margin bottom is 2EX, some stuff like that, so this, this file, for, uh, for all this, uh, you know, uh, table head, table uh, body, everything is, is displayed, so, you this file this information are extracted from the text file okay this information are extracted from the text file but the previous information here this one are extracted from the database that's why you will find here there is one two three four uh, different topics why because I deleted the information from the messages.txt file earlier uh, so it deleted the first two lines uh, and then when I execute get uh, data from messages.txt it's only bringing me these two information but now if I posted new information like uh, for example uh, you know uh, final grade for example uh, Admin final grade will be available in week um, 17. All right, let me post it again. Now, again, if I post this, uh, if I click in view discussion, which will extract data from what from the database. We'll go there and show you how this data is extracted from the database. But now, if I click get data from messages, it will now add one more uh, data to this, uh, you know, uh, table, which is uh, data number three. But if I go to the database table, of course, information now are uh, too many, more than what I have in the text file. Now I have all this file information, and uh, while in my text file, uh, messages quickly close it and open it again you will see only there is only three uh, information this I have I have just entered so now the data is in two places right in the text file and in the database uh, this uh, view discussion is uh, <coughs> the view discussion this one is the one that extract the information from the text file. So it open the messages.txt and then display them using echo statement, yeah. using echo statement, and it has the table uh, data inside it. The last file I would like to talk about in this context is this file that displays information from the database. This one. It's called form info dot php. Form info dot php. This uh, file is very important file because it gets the information from the database, right? It gets information from the database. Uh, of course, 
uh, now we have two places where we have this data is stored in the database table which is here and in the text file which is um, which is this text file as I have been showing you so information are in two places if I would like to get the information from the database then I execute the forum info.php if I would like to get the information from the text file then I, execute, I click here and get data from text file to get the information from the text file so I have to click to execute the view, view discussion.php so now it's time to talk about this uh, forum info this one this is the file that gets the information from the database the file is pretty easier uh, and simple uh, which is simply uh, same like any other file that you have created in PHP uh, MySQL which is it has a connection string and uh, testing for error messages and uh, checking uh, here to open the get all the data from the from the discussion from the discussion table first you have to open that uh, database called forum again you use these two arguments forum and the connection string which is a public link here in this example and then create a variable called result you can call it any name here I called it result to execute this statement which is select all from discussion select all from discussion to be executed by my SQL query or give me an error message and or die give me an error message so this is just a summarize for the error message uh, that I have been uh, you know writing in all these files so far but this part is the most important part because it creates a table uh, with border 2 uh, 2 pixels like this one border for this let me just give this open which is a border for the table for the, for the table right and uh, look at this uh, uh, table row style background cn 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 which is you know uh, like like blue you can have it for example light green uh, let me just show you the effect of this table if I execute it again refresh light green no see it's, it's just changing to light to light green so this is just to change the background for uh, for this for this row all right the row has what has topic this one topic name name which is this one message which is this one right and um, here I will use a, a function called my SQL fetch array I have used it in a in previous examples where I was extracting data from the database uh, tables which is my SQL fetch array uh, function that actually used with the while statement loop statement uh, and using the variable uh, this variable I call it row it could be any name but because this one about rows so I call it just row as a variable so now all the information that you get from the database table are uh, are compensated by this uh, by this variable so the first uh, row displayed is going to be uh, or the second actually uh, row is this one all this one is is just one one row guys but it has a lot of table data look if I click here it will close it where it will close it at the end so what is between this one and this one between this one and this one I have the topic in a TD, I have the name at the TD, and I have the message. Uh, you have to use the same fields name as 
shown in the table, which is topic, name, and message. Use them as an argument for your variable, this row. Echo, dollar row, topic, between single quotation and inside the bracket. So you have to close this uh, one and then open a new one, which is TD for, uh, you know, TD. Again, row name and then row message. All this in a background that is light yellow, as you could see here. All the background for them are light yellow. Here is to close your table. And um, here, after you close your table, inside uh, the HTML and outside the PHP, here after this line after this line number 34 you have two links the first link is the button that view discussion.php which is i told you that that file is used to get data from messages.txt file so if you click here again you will get the message from from that file and the second link is to post new message which is uh, this one here, post new message. So I try to actually have post new message in all of these files so that if you'd like to post new message, you don't have to go back and back and back. You can just click here to post new message and then go to the, you know, to this uh, page to enter new information. Okay, and then if you'd like to get data from database, also you can create actually here, here, you know, I can update this, uh, I get data from the text file also. So here, for example, let me go back and update my file, which is this file, and then create another button, like this one. And uh, view discussion. .php. How does it spell? I have to click capital V, capital D. Spelling is very important because this is the name of the file view discussion those php which is this file which gives the information from where from the text file right so here uh where is my file where is my here uh, yeah. uh this button is to view discussion you get data from what from text file So I can actually add this one here if I want. Uh, then I click and open by mistake. So let me save instead. Let me save the file and then refresh. I refresh. So I got this one, which is view discussion, view discussion. Uh, this one, this table, to execute it. So if I get data from here, I get it from the database. If I get data from here, I get it from what? From the text file, which is view discussion.php. Uh, again, you can actually uh, update this file by adding here, get information from database if I like. And I can go to view discussion.php, which is uh, this one. And then also update it with a new, uh, you know, file, which is post, not post, what is that, uh, it's called uh, forum info.php, forum info.php, which gets the information from the database, forum info. PHP. Get data from database so because this information from the text file. So if you'd like to get get it from the database, it might be different, guys, because sometimes you would like to you know uh, remove information uh, from from the text file and. Uh, and then have uh, new information, fresh information. 
but uh, most of the time they are the same unless you remove the information or delete them for a reason or the information are deleted for any other reason that you don't want to delete but the information like that so if I, if I uh, refresh I, I get this new new link which is forum info.php if I click here of course I will get the information from the database like before so here I have all the files that are actually communicating to each other here to post new message all right here to get data from database and here to get data from text file and here to get data from uh, database and here to post new file. so all files are connected together all right so these links because these files are in the same folder as you can see from from the same folder so what i'm going to do uh actually I have already done, I have already, everything that I did talk about is being posted here in the blackboard for you uh, to complete your uh, assignment, you have to uh, try this, uh, you know, uh, practice that we have done today yourself before you start your assignment, try everything that we did today, try it here, so go here to week uh, 13, All right. In fact, uh, I th yeah, we we've twelve also. I have with twelve. With twelve, you will find the uh, the example for creating and in my SQL examples on PHP, but it doesn't have HTML. In this week, uh, we have used uh, PHP to create database using. Uh, and using uh, PHP files, and here I have two examples. Uh, two examples: one for employees database, and one for dealership database. Which is a very good example. Please have time to watch them, and also the file that I have executed, I put them here. The file that I have executed to create such information are here: dealership or dealer shop, dealer shop, and here also employee.zip this information are very important for you download them execute them by one it doesn't take like 15 minutes to do each one and maybe extra time to just uh, open the files and see what are the content which is similar to the information that i have discussed today but the most important thing for today's lecture is here in week 13. in fact in week 13 link uh, i have explained uh, this in a video uh, here in this video which talks about creating database using PHP and HTML uh, that this video will will uh, will cover today's class and also today's uh, files that I have uh, covered here they are in the same you know in the same uh, link you will find here forum.zip if you download this one you will end up having the same information here and then you can execute them yourself following the instruction that you get them from today's uh, today's lecture sounds good Okay. Now uh, it's up to you to you know go to these two links to view information and practice practice in order to be able to at least uh, do your assignment and. Uh, this assignment is simply you in the assignment that I will be posting this week maybe today or tomorrow it will have this I will ask you to create HTML, HTML uh, uh, to use HTML to create an entry form then you will be using uh, PHP files to create database create tables 
post information enter through the forum into database table and text file same like I did today and also to view data from text file and, and from database same like I did today and then you need to use the CSS style uh, to display the information yani, in, a, in, a, in, a, in some in some format yani, like uh, like like what I have seen here like this one like uh, colors and background uh, or uh, you know some stuff like that okay uh, if uh, if you I'm sure that if you were able to do this uh, you will be able to I mean practice using these two links definitely you will be able to uh, solve this uh, assignment uh, in, a, in a, a good way and uh, you will have no issues at all again the assignment is going to be from this uh, from this today's lecture basically and uh, it will be posted today thank you so much and uh, also this lecture is going to be uh, posted today to the uh, blog